The presentation is a case study entitled Group Work, Its Effects on Learning the English Language Among the Students of Korea University of Media Arts. According to Gillis, students working together are more motivated to achieve than they would be when working individually. Consequently, a group work might serve as an effective way of learning in terms of interpersonal skills. Aside from making each student to be more motivated in accomplishing a task, learning with a group could help the learners build rapport with their fellow learners. Establishing a rapport with a fellow learner could minimize the feeling of anxiety, could promote social interaction, and help create a positive learning environment which is a good factor to increase learning. Statement of the Problem Being able to communicate well in English is one of the long-term goals of language instructors would like their learners to attain. According to Bygate, the problem in teaching a second language is to prepare the students to use the language. As such, providing adequate learning materials in order for the learners to be competent in English would be a challenge for ESL teachers. Furthermore, most of the learners feel insecure about their level of English and tend to have a trouble communicating as well as expressing themselves in English. For this reason, learners would rather not to be participative in class and might choose to remain silent as they fear of making mistakes in class. Next, the objectives of the study. Specifically, the objectives of the study are to determine the effects of group work in learning ESL, to determine the effects of collaborative learning, to identify the students' perspectives regarding to their involvement in group activities. The overall goal of this study is to highlight the effects of group work among the learners of Korea University of Media Arts. To provide support in the previous findings regarding the effects of group work in learning English as a second language. The study helps to determine the effects of group work in teaching English in a classroom setting as well as providing language instructors with the rationale whether to use group work activities in teaching and improving the learner's English skills. The study could also help teachers identify the major problems faced by the learners when are involved with group activities. Hence, teachers are conscious with the advantages and disadvantages of group work in the process of teaching and learning. The study could be beneficial to students in a way that they could assess the effects of group work in their own learning process upon learning the English language. For the scope of the study, this study investigated the effects of group work on learning the English language among the students of Korea University of Media Arts. Three two students answered the questionnaires and four individuals were interviewed. The data were collected using questionnaires, observation, and interview. Methodology For the respondents of the study, the respondents of the study were composed of 32 university students, two university students, and two ESL teachers with eight years of teaching experience. The study utilized both qualitative and quantitative research methodologies. Three research instruments were used, questionnaire, observation, and interview. For data collection purposes, a questionnaire with 30 Likert scale questions was designed. It was adopted from Team Effectiveness Diagnostic created by the London Leadership Academy. The questionnaire was composed of three sections. The first section is composed of personal background of the respondents. The second section was composed of 30 questions pertaining to the appropriate skills to determine their awareness about their participation in group work discussions and activities in learning ESL. And lastly, the third section was composed of an open-ended question. The respondents were instructed to answer 30 questions with a strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree choice when answering survey items. For the observation, a particular ESL class was selected for the observation. The researcher decided to include the observation as one of the instruments for this case study because it could provide an immediate information needed in the case study. 
Also, the learners' behaviors were observed as they collaborated with their fellow students within the group, how they interacted with their group members during the group work, and how motivated they were when working as a team. Sammy Structured Interview According to Moser and Carlton, the interview is described as a means of eliciting relevant information and personal opinion of the respondents. Ten relevant questions were put together in order to gather details as well as to support the results taken from the questionnaires and observations. Four interviews were conducted in total. Two interviews were conducted with the two ESL teachers and two university students. Results, Discussion, and Conclusion The following results are divided into five categories. The categories highlight the result of the survey. First, Category A, the effects of group work and collaborative learning. Based on the figures, the majority of the students agreed that they learn effectively with a group, more productive when working with a group, have the skills to work effectively with a group, collaborations with other teams are productive, worthwhile, and yield good results, and are able to work through differences of opinion without damaging relationships. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in collaborative learning is 73%. Category B. Based on the figures, the majority of the respondents answered neutral when asked if they preferred to learn the English grammar on their own, if they preferred to improve reading and writing skills in English on their own, if they preferred to improve their listening skills on their own, and if they preferred to improve their speaking skills on their own. Furthermore, the majority agree that group works are effective in learning English than learning English on their own. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in learning English is 67%. Category C, the effects of group work in the learner's motivation to learn English. The majority of the respondents agree that they can communicate effectively with a group, are motivated to learn English with a group, are motivated to improve, in, to improve listening skills in English with a group, and are motivated to improve speaking skills in English with a group. On the contrary, the majority of the respondents disagree that they feel shy working with a group. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work and the learner's motivation to learn English is 70%. Category D, the effects of group work in improving English skills. The majority of the respondents agree that improving reading and writing skills, listening skills, and speaking skills in English are, are more effective when it is learned with a group. Also, the majority agree that the communication within the group is open and honest when working with a team. Furthermore, the majority disagree that they complain a lot when working with a group. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in improving English skills is 70%. And lastly, category E, the effects of using group work in teaching English in a classroom setting. The majority of the respondents agree that team problem solving results in effective resolutions and can address and resolve issues quickly when working with a group. Also, their team members are effective listeners when working with a group. The members help one another to deal with problems or resolve issues when working with a group and display high levels of cooperation and mutual support. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in teaching in a classroom setting is 77%. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in collaborative learning is 73%. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in learning English is 67%. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in the learner's motivation to learn English is 70%. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in improving English skills is 70%. Overall, the effectiveness score of group work in teaching in a classroom setting is 77%. Based from the results, the effectiveness score of group work on learning the English language among the students of Korea University of Media Arts is 59%.
Next, a discussion during the interview with the two teachers. The interview with the two teachers lasted for 25 minutes. According to them, a group work is an appropriate and an effective tool in teaching ESL in a classroom setting. It promotes interaction among learners, which could lead the students to be motivated in learning ESL. The first teacher also added that choosing an appropriate good topic is necessary since this could give interest to the learners and make the students realize the importance of learning English. Since diversities in the classroom are common, the interaction among learners could help the teaching and learning process in a classroom setting. Hence, a group work is an effective tool in teaching ESL at the university. An ESL teacher should be hands-on when giving corrections to the learners. According to them, without the teacher's appropriate correction, chances are the students will learn English in a wrong way. Next is a disadvantage or problem occurring when using group work as a tool when teaching ESL in a classroom setting. Group work activities could lead students to be competitive in class. And this could lead the slow learners not to showcase their full potential in learning English because fast learners are the ones who will stand out in class. Next, a discussion during the interview with the two students. The interview with the two students lasted for 25 minutes. Both students would rather learn ESL with a group. They also added that it is highly effective than to learn it on their own. According to the students, it is more effective to learn English with a group because a group becomes their support system in learning the target language. However, there would be some instances where learners would find it difficult to deal with other group members or member because of the fear that they might be laughed at when they are trying to speak in English. In terms of learning English in a classroom setting, ESL group activities and games can help improve English. Overall, learning English with a group could develop a learner's learning process. Students find the ESL learning to be effective when they interact with their fellow learners as well as could motivate them to learn the target language even more. And lastly, a discussion about the observation. The researcher observed an ESL class for 120 minutes. For this, or during the observation, students enjoy learning ESL if it is learned with a group were participative and active in the group activities given by the ESL teacher in class. Also, most of the learners were paying attention during the lecture. After the lecture, the teacher gave a group work activity which then followed by an ESL game. Overall, work, group work has a contribution to lessen the stress and anxiety felt by the learners in the class. Group work is an effective tool to overcome the fear when learning a new language and most especially the fear to be laughed at in class. The finding resembles the concept of Harmer, who highlighted that group work is an attractive idea to increase the amount of students' talking time. Students use a language to communicate with each other and more importantly, to cooperate among themselves. And this is where the presentation ends. Thank you.